I'm Georgia, and as of two years ago, I became a homeowner, but soon turned into a home wrecker. I just <laughs> couldn't keep my house clean. Georgia, home wreckers but... usually have good intentions to begin with, but don't usually realize they're developing bad habits until they're too far gone. A home... So if you're also a home wrecker like me, here's some hacks to keep you in line. Georgia, I, I just, I don't think that's the word you're looking for. A home wrecker is a word that people use for people that ruin relationships, not houses. Oh, well, I mean, I read the script to my boyfriend. He said it was fine. Yeah, that's not the right word. Oh. I could have really gotten cancelled for that. Actually, you know what? Give him a call. I want to see where his head was at with that one. Babe, is your phone ringing? Dylan? Dylan? So without further ado, here are some cleaning hacks for you messy people to use or save for later and forget about in the day. It's up to you. Hack number one. Tired of mopping your floors? Sorry, I meant, are you tired of thinking about mopping your floors because you're 22 and live in a share house and don't really see the point? <laughs> Me too. Get some slippers, some double-sided... Oh. Some double-sided tape, for God's sake. Some double-sided tape. Shit. Some double-sided tape. And that thing on the end of a mop that kind of reminds me of Poco from ABC for Kids. Cut it out into this shape and stick them on the bottom of your slippers. And now you can mop while you bop. Or chop. Or shop. Or cough drop. <laughs> and for those hard to reach places, just watch some contortionist tutorials on YouTube because you just destroyed a perfectly good mop that could have done the job a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> Hack number two. Did you accidentally hit your white wall with an object and it made a nasty mark? Well, that could have been avoided. Like, why don't you just fold up the tripod before walking around with it, you dumb bitch. I'm sorry, I thought this was a judgment-free space. Hack number three. Could you not be bothered to fold up a tripod so you made a mark on your wall? Sorry, I just, I feel like this is getting personal. Well, don't I have the hack for you. Grab some toothpaste and smear it all over the infected area. Now what? I don't know if I'd explain it like that. Then wipe it off to reveal a perfectly clean wall. Well, I mean, I can still kind of see it. Did you spill toothpaste oh, on your God. carpet? Pack number four. Is your jewelry rank AF? Grab some toothpaste and clean it. Good as new. Pack number five. Do you have grime and mold build up in your shower? Grab some toothpaste and clean it. <laughs> Good as new. Pack number six. Stained shoes? Grab some toothpaste and clean it. Good as new. Pack number seven. Are you reconsidering using toothpaste to clean your teeth because you don't really trust it anymore? Yeah, same. Pack number eight. Do your oven trays look like this? Grab some baking soda and vinegar. Let it sit for a while, then wipe it off and voila. Now you've saved money on expensive cleaning products and a packet of Grave Ox. Hack number nine. Did your shower head break but no one in the house wants to pay for a new one? First, sit your roommates down and explain to them that they're being stingy little bitches. I think you guys are being stingy little bitches. Grab a plastic bottle and use a lighter and a sharp thingy to pierce holes in the bottom of it like this. Pop it over your shower head and secure it with some duct tape. Then refrain from saying, that's not going anywhere. And there you have it, a perfectly functioning shower head. Hack number 10. Do you constantly lose shit in the crevice of your lounge? Well, here's a hack for you that'll blow your mind. Get your vacuum cleaner and some stockings. Pull a stocking around the head of the vacuum in the same fashion as your year five sex ed teacher put a condom over a banana in 2011 and did absolutely nothing else because apparently that's all we need to know about sex. Plunge the vacuum into the lounge and now you can retrieve those lost items that fell down there and you totally forgot about. Like some jewelry, bobby pins, paracetamol, a french fry from 2018, a urine sample, and a formal letter of complaint that you wrote to your primary school about not teaching you about your own female anatomy. Dear Mrs. Sorens, I regret to inform you that in 2011 you didn't tell me I had a clitoris. I strongly believe that this led to years of wasted potential self-discovery. Hack number 11. Does your toilet seat get constantly stained by your fake tan? Use your roommate's toilet and let them deal with it. Hack number 12. Are you sitting here watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet? Well, hit subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If this made you smile or laugh, please hit that share button down there and share it with a friend or a stingy roommate. And I'll see you next Saturday. See you later, potato. And for God's sake, 
I haven't stopped saying see you later potato. I don't know why people think that. I always say it. I have always said it. I never stopped. <laughs> I think you guys are being stingy little bitches.